What's up, weirdlings? My name's Shannon Brielle, and welcome to another episode of Mouth Noise. Today is a very special episode of Mouth Noise, in which I am not gonna sing anything unless it's just spontaneous singing that happens, that usually happens when I talk to anyone. Mm. <laughs> so somebody out there asked me if I would show you all my playbills. I kind of showed them off a few videos ago in my Skylar Sisters bid, um, but today I thought that I would just go through all of them with you so I could just show you because I really like my little playbill wall. So I wanted to share them with you all, yay! <laughs> One thing I will say is that I actually haven't seen all of the shows that I have playbills of. I am not fortunate enough to be able to just go to New York. I am stuck here in Austin, Texas for uh, until I have lots of money. So uh, I actually have really great friends though who will go to New York and see shows and then they'll get playbills for me. And I just am so thankful for them. So here we go. <laughs> Here is Dan Rad in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. I really wanted to get the Darren Chris one, but I don't I don't know why I didn't. But I love Daniel Radcliffe, who doesn't love Harry Potter, you know. So <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> so here's this. Next up is Young Frankenstein. So I actually saw this show whenever it was touring, and I saw AJ Holmes in it. If you are a star kid, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I love AJ Holmes so much. And I got him to sign it and then I like sweat on it. So I smeared it a little bit, which is weird. Whatever. He was brilliant though. Absolutely brilliant. Great show. Fantastic show. This is the one Broadway show that I've actually seen on Broadway. I saw If Then with Idina Menzel in it. She was fantastic. She screwed up on a note in classic Idina fashion and it was amazing. I actually got and I'm wearing a sweater from the show. <laughs> Shannon Brielle in her most attractive <laughs> state. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> American Idiot the Musical. I saw this when it was touring as well. It was really good. The musical numbers are amazing. It is a fantastic show. It's just like the spectacle of it all, especially if you listen to Green Day growing up. It's like, mm, delicious. Delicious musical theater. <laughs> and we're gonna navigate around all the... Next up, this is the first show I ever saw in on a stage that was musical theater that was like touring company production amazingness. It's Spring Awakening. I still have the ticket and the program because I loved it so much. Oh my God. And Duck and Cheeks coming out with a new musical, American Psycho. Actually, it already came out because it was in broad or it was on London and it's in previews right now. <gasps> I love Duck and Cheeks music so much. Uh, more music from the person who did Spring Awakening. Yes. Please. Yes, please. Yes, please. This is a program that I got from a local Austin's theater called Zach Theater. Zach Austin's Theater. I saw Spring Awakening there. I also saw Next to Normal there that season. I, yes, I still have my ticket. And I saw Xanadu there that season. By far three of my favorite productions that I've ever seen, all done by the same theater. Next up is Rent. I actually haven't seen Rent on stage, but I have a playbill for it. This is one of the playbills that my lovely, lovely friends decided to donate to me. I have seen at least the movie. <laughs> I just, there, I feel like there are never productions of Rent happening around me, like ever. I've never actually heard of a production of Rent happening near my, near my body. <laughs> love the soundtrack. I listen to the soundtrack a lot. But yeah, never, never seen it, but would love to see it one day. This is a playbill for a play I saw in high school called Arsenic and Old Lace. I saw it at Dallas Theater Center. Hmm, good to know. I'm from Dallas. Y'all. <laughs> really fun play. I don't see a lot of just straight plays, I feel. I mostly try to see musical theater just because I find it more entertaining. Um, yeah, somebody out there is gonna be mad at me for saying that. This play was hilarious and is by far one of my favorite straight plays ever. It's really fun, loved it. This is a playbill for a play, a musical that I actually wrote myself. It's called Werewolves. It's about werewolves. Uh, as you can see, my cat actually went after it, went to town on this guy. Uh, so it would say music and lyrics by me right here, but it doesn't anymore. Really fun musical though, is the first musical I've ever written. I wrote another one soon after that. I'd always said that I wanted to write a musical before I died, so I did it twice. Yay me.
This is my Stargram, Stargram space tour. Stargram, who's Stargram? Not me, don't know. <laughs> this is my Star Kids space tour program, love it. Look at all their little, little faces. <laughs> I love them so much. I really had a good day this day. Yeah. Austin space tour, great day in my life. Big Mormon! Great show. I actually almost auditioned for the touring uh, production of this, but then I got bronchitis, so it was great. <laughs> Lastly, I have Catch Me If You Can. Also didn't see it on Broadway, but my local community theater did it back in Dallas. Amazing production. Fun show. Love it. <laughs> and that's all my playbills. That's all the ones that I have. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked that. I don't know how you feel about learning about what random junk that I have in my room, but that's the junk that I have in my room. It sits on my wall all day. It makes nice scenery. I really, I really like looking at it. I hope you liked looking at it too. If you liked watching this video, I'm trying something a little bit new, uh, please let me know. And obviously I'll get back to singing next week. Don't worry about that. I'm not done singing. I obviously couldn't stop myself from singing in this video, but I do, I am interested in talking about Broadway things with you all because I think that Broadway is like my jam. If you want to talk to me some more about Broadway, I am not able to go to Broadway. I am broke. I am a broke Broadway fan, but I think that a lot of us are that way and a lot of us would like to talk to Broadway, talk about Broadway with each other anyways. So I'd love to start those conversations with y'all. So just let me know in the comments down there. <laughs> And we can say yay or nay. And I'll obviously keep singing forever. Mm -hmm. As long as my little voice will allow me to. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all the social media. Follow me on Twitter, at ShanShanaMe. And then check us out at TheWeirdLinks.com. We've got lots of crazy cool content there for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.